let us see what is the types of depreciation and what is mean by depreciation depreciation is a gradual and permanent decrease in the value of an asset this is called a depreciation we have some causes for depreciation this wear and tear depletion obsolescence lapse of time these are some causes of depreciation and there is some reasons for providing depreciation it is to know the correct profits to show correct financial position to make provision for replacement of assets to compute the tax liability these are some reasons for providing depreciation next is we have four methods to find the depreciation cost it is straight line method often it is called as a fixed installment method second is declining balance method or return down method third is sum of the eos digits method and last one is sinking fund method of depreciation these are the four methods we are going to see in the session first let us see straight line method under this method the depreciation is calculated on the original cost of the assets and a, a fixed amount is charged as a depreciation amount throughout the lifetime the amount of depreciation is distributed over the useful life of the machine in equal periodic installment let p is equal to first cost of asset f is a salvage value of the asset n is a life of the asset dt is a book value of the asset at the end of the period time t dt is a depreciation amount for the period t next is uh, let us see some formulas which is used in straight line method amount of depreciation is equal to cost of asset minus scrap value divided by estimated life of asset cost of asset is determined by cost price plus installation by erection charges rate of depreciation is equal to amount of depreciation by cost of asset into 100 it is percentage dt is p minus f by n i told you the term p f n dt and r in the previous slide bt is equal to bt minus 1 minus dt also another one formula for bt is bt is equal to p minus t into p minus f by n we are going to solve a problem a company purchased a machine of rupees 8000 the useful life of the machinery is 10 years and the estimated salvage value of machinery at the end of its lifetime is 800 determine the depreciation charge and book value at the end of various years using the straight line method of depreciation you are going to find depreciation using straight line method now the given data says p value it is first cost rupees 8000 f is 800 now n is 10 years you are going to find the depreciation charges dt book value bt we know the formula for dt is equal to p minus f by n p is a first cost f is a salvage value n is a life it is 10 years so you can able to find dt from this formula it is equal to 720 then rate of depreciation is 9 percentage we have a table here first column says end of the year second is depreciation and the last one is book value starting from zero you have to do for 10 years next is depreciation depreciation is dt is 720 720 
is determined in the formula of dt it is common for all 10 years next you have to find the book value bt bt is equal to bt minus 1 minus dt for zeroth year you have to find the value of bt book value it is 8000 you have to substitute the same value of the machinery book value now that value of 8000 is reduced gradually this is the case we are going to see book value is going to reduce gradually we have to find that value this is a problem now you have to subtract the depreciation 720 for first year 720 rupees for first year so 8000 minus 720 it is equal to 7280 similarly for second year third year fourth year fifth year sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth these are the steps to find the book value book value is going to reduce gradually so please observe here so from this problem we can observe book value is reduced if you want to find dt and bt for a specific period of time the formula can be used and in this method you must understand that the depreciation is the same amount for all periods this is the observation from this problem